Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make this delicious baked mac and cheese. It's creamy, cheesy, and tastes really, really good. So let's get started with the video. We're gonna begin by shredding our cheeses. I shredded smoked gouda. Havati, Gruyere, Fontina, and sharp cheddar cheese. When you're finished shredding your cheeses, set them to the side. Now in a large pot, add 32 ounces of chicken broth. If you feel like you need more liquid to boil your noodles, but you don't want to add more chicken broth, you could just add water. Bring your pot to a boil and then add three and a half cups of macaroni noodles. Cook your noodles until al dente. Remember to constantly stir your noodles so they don't get stuck at the bottom of your pot. Cooking your noodles in chicken broth gives your noodles a bit more flavor. When your noodles have finished cooking, drain the liquid and set your noodles to the side. Then in a large pot over medium heat, add 4 tablespoons of butter. You don't need a pot this big, and I realized this halfway through, but it was too late to turn back. Once your butter has melted, gradually whisk in 2 tablespoons of flour. Whisk and let that cook for about one minute. Then slowly whisk in two and a half to three cups of half and half, depending on how creamy you want your mac and cheese. Stir your mixture on medium high heat until it becomes thick. Once your mixture is thick, go ahead and add your cheese. Add one cup of smoked gouda, one cup of Havati, one cup of Fontina, and a half a cup of mild cheddar cheese. Once you've added your cheeses, you can reduce your heat to low. Then add 3 fourths cup of sour cream, Two ounces of softened cream cheese, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, one eighth teaspoon of onion powder, one eighth teaspoon of garlic powder, one eighth teaspoon of paprika, one eighth teaspoon of creole seasoning, some white pepper, and a dash of nutmeg. Then whisk everything together until well combined. Now add your noodles. Stir your noodles into your cheese sauce until well combined. When you're finished and your macaroni noodles are covered in the cheese sauce, set it to the side. In a pan, add some olive oil. You can either use an 8x8 pan or a 13x9 pan. Coat the pan in the olive oil. You can use olive oil or butter, whichever you prefer. Then add your mac and cheese. Now add 
add your favorite cheeses on top. I added sharp cheddar cheese and Gruyere. Then add some smoked paprika on top. When you're finished, place your mac and cheese in the oven at 350 for 45 minutes. Once you've finished baking your macaroni and cheese, let it cool for about 5 to 10 minutes. Once your macaroni and cheese has cooled, you can go ahead and enjoy. And this is the finished product. This recipe is really easy and simple to make. It's well seasoned and full of flavor. You don't have to use the exact same cheeses I used, I just really like the cheeses I picked. Like I could sit up and eat Havati and Fontina with some crackers. But you can just use your personal favorite cheeses. Sharp cheeses on top of macaroni and cheese is literally the best. I don't know why, but it's just way better than using mild cheddar cheese and I recommend you try it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!